Hello everyone. This one is a previous year CSAR question. Let's read this question. Following are certain statement regarding terpene class of secondary metabolites in plant. And here, four statements are given. You have to find which of the following combination of the statement is correct. This question is about secondary metabolites. It's about terpenes. What are secondary metabolites? Secondary metabolites are organic compounds produced by plants. But these secondary metabolites, these organic compounds, don't have any direct function in the growth and development of plants. Then what is the function of these secondary metabolites? These secondary metabolites protect plants against being eaten by herbivores. It protects plants against being infected by microbial pathogens. And these metabolites also serve as an attractant for pollinators and seed dispersing animals. And these secondary metabolites also act as an agent of plant-plant competition. And secondary metabolites, we, there are three categories. Terpenes, phenolic compounds, and nitrogen-containing compounds. In this video, we can talk about terpenes. What are terpenes? Terpenes are formed by fusion of 5-carbon isoprene units. And we can classify terpenes into monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, diterpenes, triterpenes, tetraterpenes, and polyterpenes how based on how many C5 units they contain. First one is 10 carbon terpenes. It contains two C5 units. That's why it is known as monoterpenes. 15 carbon terpenes. It contains three C5 units known as sesquiterpenes. 20 carbon terpenes. It contains 4 C5 unit. Diterpenes. 30 carbon terpenes. It is known as triterpenes. It contains 6 C5 unit. And 40 carbon terpenes. It contains 8 C5 units. Known as tetraterpenes. And polyterpenoids. Here it contains more than 8 C5 units. Terpene biosynthesis. Terpenes are biosynthesized from acetyl coenzyme A or glycolytic intermediates. There are two pathways for terpene biosynthesis. Here you can see mevalonic acid pathway and methyl erythritol phosphate pathway. In the case of mevalonic acid pathway, three acetyl coenzyme A join to form Mevalonic acid. Mevalonic acid is a 6 carbon intermediate. This mevalonic acid then pyrophosphorylated, decarboxylated, and dehydrated to yield isopendenyl diphosphate, IPP. This one is a C5 unit. And this isopendenyl diphosphate is the 5 carbon building block of terpenes. And another pathway, ter Another pathway in terpene biosynthesis is methyl erythritol phosphate pathway. Here, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and pyruvate to form methyl erythritol phosphate. And methyl erythritol phosphate is then formed dimethyallyl diphosphate. This dimethyallyl diphosphate is the isomer of isopendenyl diphosphate. These two are C5 units. Isopendenyl diphosphate is a C5 unit and dimethyallyl diphosphate is also a C5 unit. These two are isomers. And this isopendenyl diphosphate and dimethyallyl diphosphate combine to form geranyl diphosphate. This is a C10 unit. And this geranyl diphosphate is the precursor of all monoterpenes. This geranyl diphosphate contains two C5 units. And this geranyl diphosphate is linked with another molecule of isopendenyl diphosphate to form farnesyl diphosphate. This one is a C15 
terpene. That means it contains 3 C5 unit. This farnesyl diphosphate is the precursor of all sesquio terpenes. And this farnesyl diphosphate linked with another molecule of isopentenyl diphosphate to yield geranyl, geranyl, geranyl diphosphate. This geranyl, ger, geranyl diphosphate is C20 terpene. And this C20 terpenes are the precursor of all diterpenes.